In this video, I'll be explaining how to complete the mini assessment for Photopea. So on the assessment on Google Classroom, it says that you're going to combine all of the skills that you've learned in the previous three lessons. If I just go back, I'll be able to show you that very quickly. So by now, you should have done the lesson one brush tool, lesson two spot brush tool, and lesson three text tool. So this is you having a go at the mini assessment, okay? The mini assessment says that you need to choose one from the list below to create a very quick and simple media product, in this case a poster, where you showcase the three tools that you have learned in the previous three lessons. Okay, so you're going to make a poster that showcases your learning of the three tools from the previous three lessons. And you're going to make the poster on a very particular theme. We're going to make a government public advice poster regarding the coronavirus. You can choose to focus your poster on hand washing, reducing face, face touching, respiratory hygiene, or the advice about staying home. Okay. I am going to show you how to make a poster on one of these. So I had a little look and I thought respiratory hygiene might be a good one to do, but you can do any of them. Um, so I'm going to choose respiratory hygiene, respiratory hygiene for my poster. I'm going to click on this link, which you will find on the assignment, and this will take me to um, a, a document which gives me the actual government guidance on each of those. So I'm going to scroll down to the respiratory hygiene section. If you chose face touching, there's some information there. If you chose hand washing, there's some stuff there. I've chose the respiratory hygiene. Now the government says that um, respiratory hygiene, droplets from, droplets from a cough or a sneeze spread the virus. By following good respiratory hygiene, you can protect the people around you from the virus. Okay, how? This is by covering your mouth with your, and your nose with a bent elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze, then dispose of the used tissue immediately. So I'm going to make a poster which gives that information out. So I thought to myself, right, okay, a bent elbow. Um, what would be what would be good to show that? So I got my phone out, took a selfie of me sneezing into my own bent elbow. And at this point, I've gone to photo P and I'm going to go to file open and I'm going to open up that photograph of myself. So there I am, me sneezing. So there's me sneezing. Now I'm just going to very quickly go back to the assignment. It says once you've chosen one, you are going to take a photograph. That's the best thing to do. Or if you can't take a photograph or don't want to take a photograph, you can just find a suitable image off the internet to use for your poster. Once you've done that, go to Photo P, upload your image. Well, I've just done that, so I'm up to there now. And then it says, demonstrate your use of using the brush tool, spot brush tool, clone tool and text tool to create the simple poster. Okay, so that's where I'm up to. I've got to demonstrate those skills now on the photograph that I have taken. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate some use of the um, spot brush to spot healing brush tool. Um, so I've, I've just selected that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, and I think all I might do is just remove some of these um, floating little scatty hairs around my head. Get rid of those. Oh, hang on. That's like sort of created something a bit a bit weird there. So I'm going to go back. Control Z goes back. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, this one here. I'm going to get rid of some of these hairs here. So just get rid of those. Let's see what happens. Just take a few seconds to think about it. Oh, it's not really done it. Let's try again. Let's have another go. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of done it. Now, at this stage, when I did those lessons, I remember showing you how to use the clone tool. So I can get rid of some of these hairs using the clone tool. The spot brush tool worked a little bit, but, but not well enough. So if you remember for the clone tool, what you do, um, I might make that clone tool a little bit bigger. To t it's only very small. Um, you What you do is you press Alt. Remember, Alt 
and then K. So Alt and K. Alt and K. And it picks up. See, I've and, uh, picked up a piece of that background. I can now put that background there. So I'm getting rid of some of some of those little flaky bits of hair. I'm only really doing this just to make it a little bit, little bit neater. Okay, and I'm demonstrating my use of the software to do that. So I could spend, oh, oh, it's done something a bit weird there. I could spend, in fact, that colour there is not the same as that bit there. So I'm going to do Alt K. Sorry, Alt, K, okay. click with your mouse. That's a much better colour for that side. That side of the picture was slightly darker. Okay, right, so I've demonstrated there the clone tool, the spot healing brush. The other tool that I learned when I did the first three lessons, if I go back, is the text tool. So I'm going to use the text tool now to add some text to my post. I'm going to zoom out. Oops, I've zoomed in. Zoom out. So I've got, I purposely, when I took this photograph, left a big space at the top and the side so that I could put some text there. So it'd be really a um, good idea for you to do that when you're taking a photograph. Try and think of where is your text going to go and try and make sure there's enough space for it to go there, okay? So I'm going to use now the text tool. So I've clicked on the, oops, clicked on the text tool. Uh, I've dragged it on there, so I can now type in there, but to be honest, I don't need to do any typing because everything I need is on this document that I opened up before. So I'm going to use this bit of text. I'm gonna press Control and C to copy it. Go back to Photo P. Control and V, paste it, and as you can see, it's super tiny. So I'm going to highlight it, go up here, and make it a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'm going to make it centered. I'm going to use my pointer tool to reposition it. Um, I need to click back on my text tool <clears throat> if I want to carry on editing it, which I do. I want to change the color, so I need to highlight it click on there i might make it a bright blue let's see if that works click off it oh i've got to use my pointer tool oh yeah that's nice but the font is awful so i'm going to click on the text tool again i'm going to highlight it oops hang on text tool highlight it i'm going to go into here and i'm going to try and find a text it's a little bit slow. Oops, it's done it again. Hang on. Because it's an online software, it can sometimes be slow. Now, I had a little look through the fonts before, and I actually found one that I really thought was pretty cool for this poster, and it's called the Destroy font. So I'm going to click on that. Droplets from your cough or sneeze spread. Oh, right, it's not fitting on. So I need to click on the edge. Right, pulled it down. Now you can see it. Now, that looks pretty good. Droplets from your cough or sneeze spread the virus. Right. What do I need to do? Well, to go back to my document, well, it says that you need to cover your mouth and nose with a belt, envelope, or tissue when you cough or sneeze. And then dispose of the tissue immediately. Right, I need to put that on there somewhere. Um, okay, so I might use for this the brush tool because we learned about the brush tool. If I go back and show you, just so that you just for proof, there we go. You learned about the brush tool in lesson one. I'm going to use the brush tool to add a bit of something there. So, what I might do is just zoom in a little bit. Oh, I've gone out. Click on the plus, zoom, zoom, zoom. There, I'm going to use the brush tool. My brush is really little, so I'm going to make my brush size a tiny bit bigger. Uh, maybe that's too big. A bit smaller. Okay, that'll do. Um, and I'm going to change the colour. It's set to yellow at the minute. I 
could keep it blue. Might go, might go red, you know, for this bit. Let's see. How about that red, bright red there? That'll do. Right. Right. So I'm going to draw. Oh, okay. It says it needs to be rasterized first, whatever that means. So I've just pressed OK. I'm going to draw a hand drawn arrow. And I could write hand drawn, I could write it in hand drawn sneeze with my brush tool. I could. Let's see how that looks. Sneeze. Oh, I'm trying my super, super best. Oh. To be as careful as I can. Sneeze. Oh, I felt, I felt a bit like I was holding my breath on that one then. To try and keep, try and keep it um, still. Right. So I've got a really cool piece of text up there. Droplets from your cough or sneeze spread the virus. Then I've got sneeze, and then I might put one last bit of hand drawn. Arrow. I like my hand-drawn arrows actually, they don't look half bad. Hand-drawn arrow, and I might put cover with elbow. Now, it might look a bit strange if I don't now write it in the same hand-drawn um, brush tool. So I might have to, even though it was pretty tricky. Sneeze. Cover. Cover. I'm just going to put cover. That's easy enough to write. Cover. Right. Cover. Over. Let's see. Eee. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Right. Zoom out. Let's see. Droplets from your cough or sneeze spread the virus. Sneeze. Cover. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's my finished poster done. I am now going to um, export as a JPEG. Okay, and when I just click save. I'm going to um, save that somewhere sensible so I can find it again. I'm going to put it in my um, yes, replace file. Don't know why it's saying that. I must have done something similar before. Then back on here, the assignment says, I'm going to scroll down. Now, save your edited image as a JPEG and then add it to the Photo P Creations document, which is attached. Okie dokie, so there's the photo P creations document. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to position my cursor there. Insert image, upload from computer. There's mine there. Might make it a tiny bit smaller. And there I have it. Write your name next to it. Like this. And you're done. Have fun, everyone.